so I use a space here I've created for myself on the internet to share my opinions based on my experiences in dealing with invisible disabilities or invisible challenges. Challenges such as ADHD, learning disabilities, aspects of the autistic spectrum, really invisible disability or challenge is a broad term that covers a lot of things. That, that shows I mentioned. There's clearly a connection between physical health and, and mental health, you know, and even you know, there's a mind-body connection. But I want to discuss just in brief or in general, broadly, why I believe the actual participation in sports, not just getting exercise is important. So this isn't about burning energy. This isn't about burning energy to calm us down or make us less, less hyperactive, you know, or what, whatever. This is about helping us build skills, growth self confidence, and even the ability to trust. I feel in general that there's a lot of focus on immediate gratification when it comes to help people like myself, and then they're not the wrong immediate gratification, but it's often done at the sacrifice of real skill building and self confidence building. Obviously, sports are a skill. And most of us won't be the best at it. Most of us won't be very good at it. But in a sense, we should be keeping up with ourselves, trying to improve our own skills. Whether we're sport, whether it's an individual sport or team sport, we should be trying to improve on ourselves. And when people see we improve and tell us that, that this makes us feel good about ourselves, that builds self worth and self confidence. I always say on my videos, talking about invisible challenges, if you're a parent and you watch this video, the number one best thing you can do to help your kid out is to be supportive and encourage your school's ambitions. And of course, is the sport they're interested in doing? you should let them do that sport. Regardless of what you think of the sport, whether you think they'll be good or not, you should have them do that sport. Because first of all, getting us to buy into things can be kind of tough. And you also know if we're bought into something, we go in full heartedly. And it just makes things easier. But another thing it does is it helps build trust. And trust me on this, that trust in you is going to be important when they're in their teens and 20s based on my own experience i think the years that we need most help but are also going to be the most resistant to help and them trusting you is really important another thing about sports is that every sport is a team sport i know there's sports you call team sports individual sports but every sport but i'll rephrase it every sport regardless of it being an individual sport or a team sport you are part of a team and this helps build social skills. And you may know that IB social skills are, are really important. They're how you build relationships. It's how you, you know, get jobs and keep jobs and move up in jobs. It's how you move relationships into things that are more important than just, you know, friendship. So participation in sports, in my opinion, helps build skills that will last a lifetime. Helps build confidence that will last a lifetime, and helps build trust that will last a lifetime. This is why I feel that participating in sports, not just physical exercise, is vital and should be a part of the development for anyone who is growing up with invisible challenges such as ADHD and disabilities and some aspects of the autistic spectrum, and anything some of that broad and broad, invisible challenge disability, I'd like to in the future discuss maybe what kind of sports you should have them do and things like that in, in, in future videos. I just wanted to come here and make as quick a video as I can as possible to discuss why I feel the participation of sports is important and not just physical activity, but actual sports itself. Anyways, I thank you for watching. If you feel good out of this video, please like this video on YouTube, give it a thumbs up, Instagram a, a heart, no rule, you can't do both. Please subscribe on YouTube. Please follow on Instagram. Please check out my Sports Talk with Troy YouTube channel. Please check out any links in the description as well, too. Everything helps out very much. I appreciate you very much. I thank you for watching, and we'll talk soon.